Yo, yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Donkey Kong X Mario video. Today, we are going to World 4, but I am not alone on this. Today, I am joined by who? My name is Attacking Vultures, and I cannot believe you just killed one of my kind. Only I'm allowed to attack vultures. Only you are allowed to attack vultures? Yeah. I claimed it. It's copyrighted and trademarked. Damn, switching it up from attacking toucans to attacking vultures. You know, I just pander to whatever game I'm playing. Oh, really? <laughs> I pander to whatever joke is applicable. If you ever do a DK country, I hope that you change your name to attacking armadillos in the future. <laughs> the armadillos are adorable. But they are so harsh when you're playing the game for your first time. They'll be knocking you all over the place. They're so bouncy. Uh, yeah, that's the thing that sucks. Like, if you've never played this game before, and you play as Diddy, and then you try to kill the armadillos with Diddy, you're gonna have a bad time. Mm-hmm. Also, Dude, this is like this stage level. is like so hard because of the barrels. You're gonna really need to focus on the timing. <laughs> that's what sucks. I'm so bad with timing. Can you come over here? Sorry, Tyler, I'm gonna have to kill one of your friends again. For my own benefit. Don't do it! My benefit! Alright, which one is it? Which one we getting? <laughs> At least whenever you die, you get another frog statue. That's true. I'm actually surprised I got that, because I No, I don't. What? Well, this game's rigged. Good job. At least Mini Mario's happy. I want my Yoshi. <laughs> I like this music that they use for this area. It's pretty sick. What game is this? This on? is. Is it Mega Man? Right. I'm pretty sure it's Mega Man. That's interesting. No, I want that. Wheel. Okay, just don't die. You'll be good. <laughs> nah, I won't die. I'm, that was a warm up round. As I say, that's. This is a game. very interesting mod. <laughs> the fact. Just the character replacement. So before For the Mario addicts. So before I mention this mod to you, have you heard about this mod before? No. Okay. Where did you learn about it? Um. So my YouTube feed was actually being spammed by a lot of this game. From who? I don't know. I I can't remember the channel specific. Oh, okay. I can't remember the channel specifically, but like, it just kept popping up on my feed and. Maybe it's because I watched a lot of DK, DK64 videos, I want to say. That could be why. But oh, I'm actually glad it worked out because I'm really enjoying this so far. Donkey Kong Country is one of the best 2D games ever created. I think it was my... I think it was actually my first SNES game I've ever played. Same for me. Nice. What age did you start playing it? My parents got a Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo at a garage sale, and it came with this game, and I was five years old, and this is where my Nintendo journey officially started. Nice. I think for me, it started... What? Damn, what was that? The barrel just shot me down. It's one of those automatic barrels. X Dang. It seems like they reprogrammed the mod to say, uh, no shortcuts, bitch. <laughs> no, sir. Not in my house, sir. They want you to actually play the game. That's not fair. Actually, funny enough, in, the uh, level two of the first world, they took out the barrel that's on top of that cave. Oh, fuck me. I can't- I hate that timing. And the snow's not helping. It does not, no. It's such a- it gets even thicker and thicker as time goes on. It does, yeah. I can't- It's a blizzard. I can't remember, is, is it this world that has the, uh, factory level in it? Not this world, but this game. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a level where you have to get oil to can keep your platform moving. Nice. That's great. Oh, this beam, bro. Like here, this is. Uh, <laughs> if you need to focus, it's understandable. Whoa! Oh. oh, nice, nice, good save. Oh no, I can't. Come on, come on. I'm following the beam. 
I don't like follow the leader. I don't like follow the leader. This is some evil game design right here, though. This is... I will admit. Evil Knievel. I do feel like the first couple levels of this world no! are some of the meanest Ugh. of the whole entire game. This sucks. So it makes sense that you need your emotional support too, can here to help you get through. I do, because if if not, I would... I'd probably be in cardiac arrest or some shit. I don't know. Okay. Donkey Kong's not that bad. Come on. It's also it's more of a stress reliever type of stress. <gasps> My stress is gone. This is I'm good at diverting stress. I'm a stress diverter professionally by trade. By trade. I license myself. Um, I'm pretty sure that is not legal. Um, it is if you create the practice. Oh! You created the practice? Yeah, I invented the practice myself. The problem I have is if I go diagonal... Therefore, I'm the one who can give out the certificates. So if anybody tries to do the practice without my certification, then I can take them down. I would And then like make them take my 10-week course. No! What the fuck?! did it again. Have you not learned from your mistakes? No, that's why I'm here still. <laughs> that's why I'm not on the next level yet. I never learn. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, this is a problem. <laughs> I will do it. How am I supposed to... I can't, I can't get that. Like the coffee, you will brew it. Iced coffee sounds really good, though. At 3 a.m.? Um, it is 2.23 a.m. <laughs> I'm hey, that means you need it more than ever. The later it is, the more you need the caffeine to keep going. <laughs> I need the sugar rush to go. I gotta go zoom. Especially on this level. I'm taking it, way too It kind of sounds like you, you already had iced coffee, honestly. You don't sound like you're in... 3 a.m. mode. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Huh? <laughs> it sounds like you need betterhelp.com. No, I'm just <laughs> That company has like been paying a lot of really ads. big celebrities. I've been seeing Tom Brady ads for BetterHelp. I'm like, what the heck? Tom Brady? <laughs> Not Tom Brady selling out to BetterHelp. <laughs> His ex must have really wiped him clean. It sucks. Is DK country stressing you out? Go get betterhelp.com. Play DK64 instead. That's not as stressful. It kind of makes sense, like, for a therapy website to make very stressful video games that would, would make you want to potentially what is happening? get therapy. <gasps> I'm going to need it. What is happening, though? I don't understand. My timing is not that off. It would make a lot of sense if FromSoft was the company behind BetterHelp.com. <laughs> I actually forgot that that site existed until you just brought it up. FromSoft, for those who don't know, made Dark Souls and Elden Ring. The most, like, difficult games out there, so... <laughs> I have not played Elden Ring, but I've played, like, Dark Souls out of order. I think I played three for, like, a half hour, and I just couldn't get into it. This is cock blocking me. Literally, he's cock blocking me. Yeah, Dark Souls is one of those games you have to play it for several hours to have any chance to get into it. Because it, it purposely makes it so it is really hard to get through. Mm. That's where the gameplay lies, I guess. Are there any really difficult Halo games that you die a lot playing because, like, on just like the regular base difficulty? Um, oh my fucking, uh, yeah, actually, Halo 2, if you play a lot on Legendary, Halo 2 Legendary is difficult, like, they have so many snipers, it's insane. See, that's, like, I guess the good thing about games like Halo is the difficulty is adjustable, and in Dark Souls it is not. I don't, where, where'd you go? Uh, can you go back up to the left? Oh! I had no idea. Okay. 
Oh, thank God, it's, I missed. So how much of the levels have changed? Is the, has the level design changed or anything? No, all the level designs are the same. Just some of the enemies are kind of scattered more than normal. Interesting. I'm trying to like see the overall appeal of playing this over the base game. It is a cool. I do commend the effort. They made. But also like the Mario model. Like, how do I put it? Sometimes it just seems like he's like floating on top of the ground because his type of model isn't supposed to be there. <laughs> That's true because Mario and uh, DK they run off two different engines and two different bits. But I do appreciate the effort. Like, it is cool. I'm not going to dismiss, like, what it is. Bro, how am I missing? I remember back as a kid, this level always... This level specifically, the, the ones after this weren't so hard, but this one specifically always gave me trouble. I'm also considering just, like, sacrificing my fire flower ability just so I can beat this... Yeah, you might have, like, quite possibly chosen the worst possible level to have a co-commentator on. <laughs> the hardest level that requires the most intense concentration and timing. I didn't... That usually takes tons and tons of lives to get through. The thing with this, with this mod is they have you start at, like, 80 lives. That's kind. No! No, what the f Finally! Okay. Okay, I'm taking this part slow. I am not wanting to screw this up again. I hope I'm close. Please, just let me- please- YES! You did it! Yes! Yeah! Finally! Slip slide. And after a quick edit, it looked like you did that in like three tries. Wow, good job, Trevin. You're super good. Where is this music from? Oh, I love this level. Get it, Mario! Get it! Crystals are so pretty. Mario's got moves. Who can win in a dance battle? You or Mario? Oh, Mario would destroy me. Mario's just good at what he does. Oh, I want that, yeah. He's a fan favorite. The way you just zapped away that armadillo. Right? <laughs> So, Tyler, for the people that might not know who you are, talk a little bit about yourself, about who you are. I am the man with the plan to go to Afghanistan and Stan, a Stan, whose name is Stan. Stan the man. Um, you know, I'm a gamer. I'm really excited for Planet Coaster 2. I've been playing... I should... I should... <laughs> I think about Planet Coaster way more than I actually play Planet Coaster, but Planet Coaster consumes about 50% of my thought process. <laughs> but then I'm too lazy to play the game often because then I have to like open up Steam and click on the game and oh my god. I don't, I think one thing people need to know about me is even though I can somewhat make myself appear productive, I'm like one of the laziest people in existence. Whew. And nobody would ever guess. Exactly. I'm a master of illusion. Master of edits in disguise. Let me climb up. Yes, sir! Look at all that. There should have been a calling letter here, but there's not. There's no calling letters. No calling. So, Tyler, what have you been working on lately for your YouTube? I am kind of just, like, focusing. I think I'm spending, like, a month focusing on Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM hacks. An Ocarina of Time ROM hack? Uh, currently playing one called Gold Quest that is supposed to be like a better attempt at Master Quest. Mm -hmm. And in a little bit I'm going to start recording some Ultimate Trial which turns Ocarina of Time into a roguelike. Which I tested it out. It was awesome. So I'm like I gotta do a series on this. Of course. That roguelikes are my, like my biggest obsession gaming wise. I'm starting to get to a point where I'm like thinking that if a game doesn't have a roguelike formula, I'm almost not interested in playing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not completely true, but it's becoming a very 
it's becoming like a territory where like all the games that I enjoy the most and become the most actually addicted to and just want to play a lot in my spare time are all roguelikes. Mm -hmm. I'm playing one right now called Bellatra where it's a poker roguelike and I've always thought poker was like an alright game. Yeah. But turning it into a roguelike makes it super duper fun. For anybody who doesn't know what a roguelike is, it's a type of game model that makes games replayable by having you go through and whenever you lose, you kind of restart and you start with a new build to get like different upgrades per run and stuff. And so each time you like play through the game, it kind of has a lot of things that could happen based off of randomization to make it an interesting and unique experience each time. I'm glad you described it because I was literally just about to ask what it was because I had no idea what it was. It's like a type of game mod, uh, type of game mode that feels like it's becoming popular as of the last couple years. Oh, really? I think Hades is the game that like really popularized it. Um, which Hades isn't even like mainstream yet. It's getting there, but it's not quite there. The Hades and then Slay the Spire and now Bellatro, this poker one that I'm talking about, is like really making the game mode more popular. Mm -hmm. And then there is other games out there with the game mode, like Risk of Rain and, or Risk of Rain 2. Maybe I make that. I don't think Risk of Rain 1 is one. I don't even know if I can make So that. there's like, a, there's quite a few like games out there that are starting to make the game mode or this game style popular, but it hasn't like... Oh, and then Nintendo, they did their first roguelike. Oh my gosh, you're like crushing this right now. Straight up. Good ass job. Nice. I didn't think Yoshi could get in that. Oh no, I didn't think. Yeah, you're like, you're platforming like a god now. <laughs> now that you're not having to do barrel shit, like that's what I'm talking about. Like the barrel shooting like level is like... the worst. <laughs> this doesn't even feel fair. <laughs> You're fed forever. You'll never get hungry again. I'm full. You've solved world hunger. <laughs> right. Just throw coconuts and have a Yoshi, and then you'll be fine. Literally. Uh-oh. Mm. Platform down there. I'm hoping that... Okay. I don't want to lose my Yoshi again. Yeah, Nintendo uh, just did their first roguelike with the Splatoon 3 second wave DLC with the side order mode. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite Nintendo experiences recently. No! <gasps> really? Oh, so sad. Yeah, because Nintendo gets it. I think, I think Nintendo understands how roguelikes work and it's cool to see. Mm -hmm. And in side order, pretty much the way they do it is you go up the skyscraper, there's 30 floors. If you lose, you have to restart at the bottom, and you lose your upgrades. The big th other like thing with roguelikes, oftentimes, is that you become stronger slightly over time. So each time you reset, you lose all your upgrades and everything to restart a new build, but then you get to restart usually level yourself up in between full runs by upgrading some like base stats that remain as permanent upgrades. Oh wow. So that's how you eventually beat the game is by one slowly upgrading yourself and two becoming better at the game. Mm hmm And then three, there's the exciting combination of putting together the different randomized oh, okay. builds. But yeah, that we fact we've, we've seen Nintendo do the formula now it makes me excited to see what other games Nintendo will do it for because fans are already doing it. Like they've already done it for Ocarina of Time. They've been making roguelikes for the Pokemon games, that, which have been massively popular in the Pokemon communities over the past. Uh, I say like six months. Six months. 
Yeah, I feel like it, they've been around for like a year, but like the past six months is when I've seen the internet like really playing them a lot more. I like that the internet is starting to like revise old games, like making older games like as if they're brand new. Like the texture and the quality and the graphics are, so, are still the same, but the way they make the game modes are a lot more interesting with like the ROM hacks they make and how they make randomizers a thing and how they make crossovers a thing. Like that's awesome. Yeah. The modding community is beautiful. And I hope Nintendo continues being chill with randomizers. Which I, it's been pretty nice. I think Nintendo's problem is they see it as like, oh, creators are streaming and recording our games. They're making money off of what we made. But they also don't realize that these creators are also helping Nintendo promote their content, which is weird that they're not even looking at it that way. They feel like they're losing profit, which is hard for me to understand why they feel that way. I wish Nintendo would see it more through the lens of their pro giving people jobs. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. They're literally letting people, like, make sources of income. I guess it can be upsetting, though, when they see other certain types of creators uh making more from making videos off the games than like people who work for the company <laughs> it's also like one of those things like it helps other people know if like okay this is a good game to buy for like my siblings or my kids you know birthday or christmas you know you don't want to buy your, your kid a game that's not gonna they're not gonna like it because it didn't do very well like they didn't have it the way they wanted it and like that's why youtubers do reviews and I think Nintendo, fuck, needs to realize that. I don't think Nintendo's ever been against reviews. They are when it comes to... Wait, did I go this way? I think Nintendo is that way when it comes to creators making the money off of the reviews. I don't think so. I've never seen anything <gasps> about a reviewer. What happened here? I think it... Maybe I... Wait, was I supposed to go this way? I feel like I'm backtracking. Am I backtracking? I am backtracking. Barrels will tell you. I was backtracking. <laughs> oh, there's an arrow right there. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I've never heard about Nintendo not allowing people to make money off reviews. It wouldn't surprise me if they ever became that way. They don't like people making mods and videos of Nintendo Switch mods. They're pretty protective over, like current gen ip they're but they're also pretty lenient what are you doing bro bananas i want some lives also the one thing i don't like about this game so far is mario's like turning ability that's trippy i don't like it <laughs> yeah he... <laughs> he has two personalities look on, he flips on, <laughs> flips on a very wide reflection point he's like I'm spinning now. A uh, double bear. It's like one side. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm glad. I'm I'm mad. <laughs> right, where's that block that had the item? Not with the sharks. Sharks are not nice creatures. They shouldn't exist in video games. Real life, we probably need them for something. I have no idea. Are sharks even necessary for I the just, world? I just think of Snackers from Banjo Kazooie. That guy's scary. Another game I have not beaten yet that I will eventually get around to when I have the time. <laughs> when I'm not like busy working on other million things at once. <laughs> I will say that I like having a busy schedule sometimes because I don't like to always decide what I should be doing because I always have something in the back burner. If you're alive. Yeah. In case if I need something in the back burner, I'm just like, oh, I can just do this, and like my day is all good. I feel like some. Uh, what? <laughs> Damn. He like launched you. He spawned out of nowhere. I hear the octopus again. No. 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 We don't need to play tag. Y you guys are always it. How about I? Pl how about we play tag and I'm it? That works. Oh, I can swim faster going up and down by using the analog sticks to go up and down. That makes it so much easier. Huh. Oh, no. Here you go. Oh, no. Now, Squishy. Just be calm. Just be calm. I don't need Squishy. Yes! Squishy didn't get me. 
Frankie is not nice. Is do they do they also rename every single level too? Huh? Damn, you just ate that whole entire dude. Twenty five. Damn, Yoshi. Yoshi kind of. <laughs> you got an appetite. God, Yoshi, do they not feed you in Super Mario World? Is the platforming pretty easy, like, with this? Is it tight? It honestly doesn't feel that bad. It feels a lot easier than actually being DK. Yeah, it seems like you have really good control. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a secret. It's not. I wasn't hungry for that one. Yoshi's a vegan. I think. He is today. Oh, that's the whole level? Okay. I didn't know that level. Count your blessings. Don't complain. I, I didn't think it was that short of a level. I don't remember that being that short of a level. Oh, yeah. We're back to this music. Let's go. <laughs> Tree houses are the coolest type of house in existence. I've always <laughs> did not win. <laughs> I always wanted to win. I never um I've always wanted a tree house as a kid, but I didn't have any big trees in my area, so I never got to have one. Damn. I was jealous of everyone that had like a really big tree that they could do stuff with. I built some like small tree houses in the woods. Not really houses, but like we put up like tin boards and give ourselves like a platform to sit on. Mm -hmm. Me and my friends loved building forts in the woods. We were surrounded by a lot of woods. We had like one fort that had a big climbing rock wall that had, we put a rope at the very top, we like tied it to a tree at the top, and it was like 30 foot tall, and we would just climb up and down it. We could like belay off it and stuff. It was so much fun. When you were younger, did you and your friends ever have, like, um, Nerf Wars, where you guys, like, shot Nerf guns at each other? Yeah, more, we did Airsoft Wars more than that, though. I've never done that one. Airsoft guns? We would, like, do that shit shirtless. We would, like, make sure it stung, so we would really not want to get hit. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Ouch. Oh man. I remember one time we were jumping on the trampoline and my friend was holding his airsoft gun and he shot my friend point point blank from like one foot away while he was shirtless and I left, it gave him such a big welt. Dude was so pissed. Understandably so. Pointing, shooting your friend point blank. We did tons of stupid ass shit as kids. Goddamn. I've only done nerf because I don't like to get hurt. <laughs> Getting hurt was like... It actually Whoa. made you like not want to get hit, you know? It actually kind of like gives it uh We would wear like eyewear. We wear like glasses or whatever. To make sure we couldn't get like shot in the eye. That makes sense. But like the pain adds a punishment to getting shot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it, it makes the stakes way higher, which in turn makes it way more exhilarating and just makes your adrenaline just pump while you're playing. Fuck. They also raise the defense of the enemies as well by a little bit. What the heck? Naughty! Is this like a super naughty? Because this naughty is like red. Yeah, the first boss that you fight, I'm pretty sure, is naughty as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But like, a, but like an easier naughty. It's not working. They worked on the first one. I can't believe they're able to steal this many bananas. It's so many bananas. What, what would beavers and bees and ostriches even need bananas for anyway? I'm pretty sure that they could get like very ill from bananas. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds right. Can you stop jumping so high? This is why nobody likes you. Stupid. 
no. Oh. Oh. Damn. Yeah, they definitely made it more difficult. He's not this insane normally. No. Oh. oh! Fuck! And every. And so. In the boss battles, you don't like. You don't lose. You don't lose lives from uh, dying to bosses. But their counters do restart. Oh, well, there goes that ability. Stop! <laughs> this might actually be a good way to do it! I'm glad you're having fun! You're just like, you're just like, staying on top of it. I'm making sure he can't go anywhere! Because once he leaves, there we go. Ah, oh, that took way too long. This roll took way too long. <laughs> this should have been done like 15, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Babushka. Ushka, Nishka, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Wait, Nishka, Bushka. Nishka, Bushka. Nishka, Bushka. Mickey Mouse. Congratulations, you finished the glacier. I did, I did. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching the video. If y'all liked, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And Tyler, where can people find all of your projects? YouTube.com slash Daikin Let's go. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. Babushka.